rearing of silkworm rearing of silkworm means to look after the silkworm by providing them food and shelter the female silk moth lays 200 to 500 eggs at a time the eggs are warmed to a suitable temperature for the larvae to hatch from eggs the larvae are kept in bamboo trays and feed on mulberry leaves and grow in size after 25 to 30 days the larvae or caterpillar stop eating and begin to spin cocoon during the period of spinning its cocoon a larvae is transformed into pupa from cocoon to silk the silk is processed from cocoon once the silk worm spin a protective cocoon around themselves then the processing of silk involves various steps step 1 is boiling the cocoons are first boiled in hot water or treated in oven to kill the larvae inside the hot water softens the silk gum sericin sericin is the water soluble gum so as to allow the unwinding of silk fiber as one continuous thread or you can say as a single thread dear student if the larvae are not killed and allowed to grow inside it they will break the cocoon thereby reducing the length of silk fiber step 2 reeling the process of taking out or separating out thread from the cocoon is called reeling the silk reeling is done in special machines which unwind the thread or fibers of silk from the cocoon fine fibers are reeled together to get a stronger thread called raw silk the damaged or waste cocoon are used to produce an inferior or damaged quality of silk called spun silk step 3 throwing the raw silk is twisted why to produce thrown silk the process is called throwing throwing prevents the silk from splitting into individual fibers step 4 dyeing thrown silk is then dyed from making colored fabric the dyed silk fibers are then spun into silk threads which are used to woven 
into silk cloth by weavers let's summarize the whole process of obtaining silk cloth from silk moth a female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time the eggs are warmed to a suitable temperature for the larvae to hatch from eggs these larvae feed on mulberry leaves and grow bigger and bigger then they spin a protective cocoon of silk thread around themselves these cocoons are first boiled in hot water or treated in ovens to kill the larvae inside the process of taking out thread from the cocoon for use as silk thread is called reeling the silk then raw silk is twisted to produce thorn silk by throwing thorn silk is then dyed for making colored silk fibers silk fibers are then spun and woven into silk cloth by weaving let's summarize what we have studied so far about the silk silk fiber is obtained from cocoons of the silk moth female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs on mulberry leaves the larvae that hatched out are called caterpillars caterpillars feed on mulberry leaves and grow in size when caterpillars stop feeding and its salivary gland start secreting a sticky fluid fibrin this fluid hardens on exposure to air and forms the thread of silk this thread gets wrapped around their body to form cocoon at this stage caterpillar becomes pupa at the end of pupa stage the silk moth cuts open the cocoon and the young moth flies out the stored cocoons are collected and immersed in boiling water to kill the insect inside them the fibers of silk are separated from the cocoons this silk is called raw silk the silk fibers are then dyed spun to get silk thread the silk thread is then woven to get silk cloth